All right, everyone, Spike McKinney here. I'm going to show you how to get R-Factor and Dirt Light Model Sim Light Models that you see all these guys running, and you want to know how to get because you're watching this video. Um, there's been a craze of people asking and wondering what this all is. It has been around forever, but now everyone's finding out because these big events that have been pushed through Facebook and everything with these broadcasts and stuff. Uh, so I'm here to show you. It's really, really simple, but obviously if you're just starting out, it's pretty confusing. We've all been there, and uh, I'm here to help. So, first, you're going to need a computer. Hopefully, you have one. If not, I suggest going to get one. Uh, for our factor, you're going to want to need something that is fairly good with good graphics cards and stuff like that. If you go to the Dirt Light Model Sim website, this is the website for the light models that you're going to want to need. And um, it's pretty much what I'm showing you is to get these cards right here. If you go to this site and click the how to play instructions, there's going to be a list right here of system requirements. You can get away with not having every single one of these, but it uh, might be a little harder. So I suggest trying to have something with these requirements. If not, you can just run your graphics a little lower and uh, you might be alright. Well, okay, once you're set with a good computer, you're going to want to need R-Factor. You can buy R-Factor off R-Factor.com, but you don't get a disc or anything. It's just a download install, which I personally don't find to be that useful. I have the disc. My brother has a disc, so we got two discs in the house. Um, it's a lot easier in the long run. I bought mine off Fries.com here. Let's go to Fries.com, search for R-Factor. There it is, $19.99. It'll be at your door the next day. Eh, probably not, but um, go ahead and buy that. Once you got that, we're gonna go. You're gonna want to install that. I will show the installation here real quick. Put my disc back in. Sorry if this is kind of quick and everything. I don't really have anything prepared. Just kind of doing this as we go here. So. This will pop up. You're going to want want to run the setup.exe. I'm not going to click it because it's going to take a minute to load, and it'll put. It's just like any installation that you've done before. Just keep hitting next for the most part. Um, the directory should go to your C program files. Um, if you can, if it tells you to go to the C program files x86, uh, just leave it there because that'll work better in the long run for the Duralight model mod. But if not, shouldn't be a big deal. So once you run that, you should have the R Factor icon on your desktop right here. And if you're on Windows, Vista, or uh, Seven, you can right click, hit Open File Locations. You're gonna have all these folders that you'll eventually learn how to play with. And uh, if it's installed right, you can also go to Computer, C Drive. If you installed it to Program Files or X86, mine's an X86. Should have an R Factor folder and you reach all those folders that I just showed you to get to by right clicking hitting open file location. Okay, now you're going to want these late models. You're going to go to downloads on the dirtlatemodelsim.com website and go to dirt late model mod. The latest version out right now is the dirt late model 1.4. Click that, click download, save the file. Okay, so once you get 1.4 downloaded, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna have another installation like you had before. Click next, click next. Agree with the above terms. Really, just don't rob our crap. Okay, and here is if you installed your late model, if you installed R Factor to C program files or C program files x86, this is gonna come into play here. If you had it into x86, you'll be fine. You don't have to change anything here. But if you did not put it into x86, you're going to want to backspace the x86 out just to where it's C program file slash R factor. Because if it, it all has to go into the same folder as your R factor. So if you ever get a download where the x86 is not into it, just click the space bar, left parenthesis x86, right parenthesis, and you're ready to roll, hit next, and it will install. It'll say, all right, you're done, you're installed, you're ready to roll. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to run through it. Um, then once you get a 
now you, that you've got the cars you're going to need a track to race it on so go back to dirtlightmodelsim.com go to the downloads and go to the tracks there are plenty of other tracks made by different people but these will get you going there's a list of a bunch of tracks right here 34, Farmer City, Fairbury there's uh, LaSalle, West Bay, Peoria so go ahead and get all those uh, it's the same installation process as you just went through but once again if you have it in program files back out the x86 and if it's in the x86 make sure the x86 is there so now you should have all that installed and we will open up our factor here in a second and show you how to get rolling all right everyone now we're in our factor um, I didn't show there, but all you got to do is double click on the R Factor icon on the desktop, and it sh game should pop up here with a spinning late model. Here's my Victory Circle GoPro car. Um, sometimes, if you're on Vista or Windows 7, you have to right click and run as administrator, but if you're just first installing R Factor, you should just be able to double click it like you would anything else, and uh, you're ready to roll. So, once R Factor pops up, if a dirt late model does not pop up, click the customize tab here, the first one. Go to player and click racing series. Sorry, it's all kind of lagging. All right, once you're in racing series, you are going to want to find if you're not already on dirt late model, you're going to find dirt late model, click that. You can see here these are a bunch of list of other mods that I have installed so find your light model and then you can go to vehicle and we're gonna have all these different cars you can choose from here um, McKinney Motorsports I think they're the best looking cars in the game but I might be a little biased you can go to real drivers if you want to be Jonathan Davenport there you go there's Jonathan Davenport if you want to be um, the UMP National Champion 2011, Ryan Nunsucker right there, Shannon Babb, right there, Shannon Babb, Scott Bloomquist, sorry we're lagging here, the list goes on and on, and as you can figure out all these cars are modeled exactly like the real thing, like this, this is an exact T to a Bloomquist race car, Babb's Victory Circle, chassis and everything's the same. So once you find a car you can put on some upgrades if you want to go to the upgrades. You can put it, make it topless, right front brake off. Don't do anything really. Uh, you can change your tires from American Racers to Hoosiers, and vice versa. Put mud plugs in them, a cover, and everything of that nature. So once you get that, um, you can click the second tab here and go to testing and find a track you want to run offline. All oh, you should see the track here. Now you can already see we have Farmer City loaded and you just hit load circuit. If you want to race online, click the third tab here on the home page, click join, go up top, click the middle button race series, scroll down to you see dirt late model, and these are all the servers you can run from in this dirt late model mod. Um, so pretty much you can see you can see you'll see this server right here named Dirt Runners, Dirt Late Model Mod, and they're currently at the Las Vegas Dirt Track. Um, we'll find a server here that we have Sort of like at LM, we have that. Let me put in the password. Some servers have passwords, some you can just go right in. Will be Scott Bloomquist. You hit load circuit, and you're in your hauler, chugging away to Cedar Lake. Once you're in here, um, if not already, if you don't have your wheels or controller or anything set up, Go ahead and go to or settings. Go to mappings, and you're gonna you're gonna set your throttle brakes to your left, to your right, shift up, shift down. On um, this, really all you need to begin with. You just want to click throttle and press down your throttle. And same thing with the brakes to your left and to your right, and everything else. Uh, if you're on a G25 or G27, you can go ahead and put in these rates. These is what McKinney household cars use. Uh, the first top four at 100. And the bottom four are at zero. Uh, we run 4C back at negative seven. 4C back types at the wheel. 4C back defects at full. 
controller 1 controller 2 are at 100. Uh, then you can go back to monitor up top to get back to the home page here. Um, if you go to garage, we'll kind of briefly talk about the setups here. Um, we have our tire compounds front and rear, 1100. Uh, that's mainly used for qualifying and anything under 10 laps. So if you run a 10 lap heat race, you can get away with 1100s, 1200s. Those normally kick in at uh, 15 laps. We have 1300s go anywhere from like 25, 20, 25 laps. 1350s, 1400s, 1450s, 1500s are your tire compounds. Uh, you can go to general, select your gear, rev limit, wedge, steering lock. Uh, I like to run my wheel lock at 45. You have the suspension with spring raise and rebounds. And uh, if you go to the advanced tab, you have track bars, which, which, which is what you will learn uh, eventually. But first, we just want to get you on the track and running laps. So let's go ahead and put 1100s on. I gotta map my back throttle real quick. And let's get on the track real quick. We're in the car here. I like to run the hood view. To run the hood view, all you gotta do is click home and you're on the hood view, but for the sake of this video, we will run in car, shift up, and we're gonna go on the track here. Shift in high gear. This might be a little laggy because I'm recording, but, and. Here we are on Cedar Lake. Gear might not be set, but we're going to go ahead and cut some laps. And really just uh, keep the car straight, learn the throttle control, and you'll be fine. Uh, I'm not going to get too far into here about how to drive the cars, um, but it's really just get you started but this is really all you need to get started we got you on the track uh, and then just uh, start cutting laps so uh, if you need help just check out the forums on dirtlatemodelsim.com also got a facebook page Dirt Late Model Sim. Uh plenty of people around to answer questions so uh, I hope this helped and uh, thanks for watching